Hello, can you hear me? What is up? I can hear myself. You're about to get whooped. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. You ready to get trashed on? Where are you from? For a minimal game. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Can you hear me? Receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, the ball should be there, and then they can get do some. I'm gone. He's got the lane, and there he goes. Can't catch me. Touchdown, LA. Cam Akers, 61 yards. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. So the call's made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. It's a run with Akers, and he will get in to make it. Got it. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8 nothing. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. Pollard to return from the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the end. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Ashawn Robinson, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? 
If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them, and that's why they got after them early. To try again after the sack, Prescott. And that is incomplete. No, sir. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama, and was inquiring about him and his skills. They say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. He did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater. Touchdown! Amari Cooper, 56 yards. And now the Cowboys are within a two-point conversion of tying up the game. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Prescott, they're going to throw for it to the goal line, but it's incomplete. I know it's still just the first half, but we'll see if that two points looms large later. I would have kicked it, and I know that they were trying to equal the score, but sometimes you kind of get seduced into that. It's the first half. Kick the extra point and continue to play so you don't have to chase points later. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Second and 10. Stafford. They'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball tips the play off. <laughs> you know, the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. And sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And I think that they saw that, and that's why they're able to get to him on it. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Stafford looks to throw again. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. They'll run on first down with Akers. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. It'll be a gain of three, and it also takes us to the end of the first quarter play. 8-6 the score after one. They'll 
They'll try and run for this with Akers. And Akers, he is not going to get there. They mark him short of the first. On fourth down, Stafford. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Rams add on to their lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time in the field there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet. Now the ball comes loose. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. The pass receiver turned into a runner, then he turned into a fumbler, and it goes the other way for six. I love your description. Although for the offense, they're not too happy about it. But for the defense, what a big time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yard. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Pollard to return from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Now a give here to Pollard. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 40 now on second down, Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Prescott from the gun. They'll get this out wide here to Elliott. 
And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Sean Robinson there on the stop. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. you in just a couple of minutes we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman coach will run through some of the numbers and the next gen stats from this first half of football so far and this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 25 yard line and this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo a nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First down, Prescott. His throw incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and ten. Prescott, and he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Donald is a beast. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. Prescott now. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost it. And this heads straight to the sideline. I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. No, nope, they won't. Here comes the flag. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. Pollard to return from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Now, was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm confused. is just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that is caught, one-handed. Oh my, he pulled it in. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second and four. <laughs> to throw is Prescott. Thank you. Bye-bye.